Yo, okay. <laughs> I just looked at a news article um, uh, from our, one of our local papers here in the city where it depicts a statue of a baby Jesus, okay? And the baby Jesus is up on, you know, it's a large statue. It's about 22 feet long, I think. It's huge, but it looks, and, and they made the comparison in the news article, it looks like Phil Collins. I started laughing because for those of you who know me well, I'm a huge Phil Collins fan. I've been a Phil Collins fan since I was uh, 16, okay? And I've been like, following and and or you know i'm a big genesis fan uh, invisible touch all the way that and it, you know the hit songs were the soundtrack of my life uh growing up as a teenager in high school through college you know he was there for me in his songs whenever a girl broke my heart which was often yeah it was too sensitive and you know it's, but that's another story i see the picture of the of the baby jesus and then I see the picture of Phil Collins and I was like, Yo, what the heck is this? I was laughing. I was like, who was that? Who, did they have Phil in mind when they built this statue? It's in a church, in a Catholic church, I believe, in somewhere in Mexico. I forgot the name of the city. Um, I don't have the article in front of me, but I can put the link to the article below so you can check it out yourself. Um. You know, when, when it looks like, it doesn't look like Phil Collins the way he looks now. Because if those of you who follow him and know him, you know, he's on a tour now. Or he's finishing up on his uh, Not Dead Yet tour. And, and he's, he, you know, he's pushing 70. But, you know, unfortunately, certain debilitations have taken place over the last 10 years that has left him kind of like very immobile and not very, um you know... Even his voice, honestly, is not the same uh, as it used to be. I mean, he could still sing, don't get me wrong, but it's not the same. It's different. But when they... Uh, that statue reminded me of Phil Collins back in the like mid to late 80s when he had the little hair thing in front and, and his hair was long in the back. You know, that was like my time. That was the time when I, I knew him most, when I was really into that. Um, so I think it was hilarious. I think, okay, you know, if this is going to be the baby Jesus for, and I know they're preparing for Christmas. I know that's why they're doing this. I get it. Uh, you know, I was like, wow, talk about, take a look at me now talk about Jesus. He knows me, right? Oh my goodness. Forget about it. I, I, I could keep going forever. You know, I'm, I'm a big Genesis fan. I love listening to the music, to the songs. But when that news article came out, I just bursted out laughing because I thought that was one of the funniest things I've seen this year so far. You know, it's funny. The irony is that it's supposed to be Jesus Christ, right? My Lord and Savior. And he tends to look more like, look, there are statues of baby Jesus all over the planet. And what bugs me is that, you know, and, and we could go into the whole thing about well, what nationality, you know, what ethnicity was Jesus? He wasn't white with blonde hair which a lot of statues, especially around Europe, um, depict them as. Uh, in truth, he was more Middle Eastern. He was, he, he was from the Middle East. Israel was in the Middle East, duh. But then they make a statue like this and I'm like, who, what are they thinking? Why do they keep making statues like that anyway? Why can't they just be more? Look, we live in the 21st century. We have more of an understanding and sensitivity of accuracy regarding people's cultures and backgrounds. And we know that Jesus not only didn't look like Phil Collins, he didn't look like that, okay? I'm sure his skin tone was lower, you know, darker. I'm sure his hair was not that full and long, right? Uh, come on, man. And I know maybe some babies are born with a full head of hair and stuff like that. I don't even think Phil had a full head of hair when he was born. So anyway, those are my thoughts. I just needed to throw this interesting article out. Again, the link is below. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I just wanted to put in this light, light-ended little commentary about this article I came across and, and to share it with you, my brothers and sisters, okay? In the meantime, as you look at the comparisons between Phil Collins 
from the late 80s to Phil Collins' baby Jesus that they're putting in that church. That's 22 feet tall. By the way, it's huge. Continue to pray for our Pope and for our bishops and for our priests. We are in a crisis in our church. And that's the serious note I take in this very unserious, but seriously, time of, of, of Phil Collins coming back in more ways than I can ever believe. It's crazy. Ralph Perez from Rev21 Films. God bless you.